This is a video for beginner Etsy sellers. I am someone who's been selling on the platform for a very long time and I can definitely help everyone out there be better at selling on Etsy for sure. So if you like this video, remember to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more. We talk so much about Etsy, e-commerce, eBay, uh, Amazon, everything under the sun on this channel. And today we're really going to be covering some Etsy newbie mistakes, mistakes that you can avoid. Now, number one on my list is not doing enough research. Before you start selling on Etsy, make sure you research the platform. Make sure you research your competitors. Understand you know, your, your shop niche and learn from your mistakes and strategies to help make your shop the absolute best that it can be. You need to make sure before you even start selling anything, whether that's on Etsy, eBay, or and so on, that you understand the market that you're in. If you don't get, if you don't understand like what you're selling, what your what your key demo is, um, what people want to buy, what they want to purchase, you're going to make serious, serious errors and mistakes. What I personally would do is I would go to Google Trends and also go to Amazon bestsellers and really try to understand what people are searching for, what people want, and so on, okay? Look, people are going to tell you to sell certain things on Etsy, you know, do certain things, try to, try to, you know, like sell whatever it is that is like a, you know, possibly a bestseller or whatever. What I would personally do is I would think for myself, if I was a new seller on Etsy, what do I know about the most? Do I know more about music? Do I know more about sports? Do I know more about skateboarding, anime? Take a look at some of the things that people are searching for when it comes to these particular you know, um, niche markets. If you know a lot about, let's just say, anime or something, then you could sell like anime stickers or related to anime stickers, you know. Um, anything that you kind of understand that sell the best, sell the most. Is there a, um, a, what do you call it, a hole in the market? When I first started selling on Etsy, I saw that particular people were not selling certain things on Etsy that I would well, I would want to buy if I was a fan of of whatever it is like whether that's you know sports or whether that's anime whether that's skateboarding you know and so I basically filled the hole in the market and that's exactly what you should do poor product photography is another mistake that you need to avoid you cannot provide bad photography when you're photographing your particular products Always make sure that everything is well lit. Everything is, you know, shot from multiple angles and provide the absolute best photography that you possibly can. Because if you do, you know, if you do this, then your products are going to be selling for a lot more, perhaps, as well as they're going to be appearing also on eBay, you know, I should say on um, Google Shopping and so on, pretty much everywhere on the search engines to get more sales to your Etsy shop. Incomplete or inaccurate product descriptions. You cannot, cannot do that, okay? Fill your product descriptions with all the information about the particular item that you're selling. Make sure there are no spelling errors. Make sure there's no misleading language. Make sure everything is all covered. And also, the key words. I cannot tell you how essential it is that you're going to have the best keywords possible in your particular Etsy listing. Put it in the um, in the titles, the description, as well as the tags too for your product. That way, your item is going to be shown to a lot more people. Overpricing and underpricing your products, you can't do it. You can't do it, okay? Because if you're going to overprice, first of all, your products, let's talk about that first. Overpricing. You're not going to get sales. Plain and simple, you cannot sell a product for just way, way too much money if it's not a unique product. If a lot of people have it, which they probably do on Etsy. If you're a new seller, that's probably what's going what's to happen. You're going to have a product that a lot of other people have. 
if you, you know, if you underprice it, people are going to be skeptical of whether or not they're even going to get the product in the first place. Neglecting customer service is the next one, guys. You can't do that. You cannot, um, like, like either ignore someone when they're asking you a question, and there's going to be a, a lot of that on Etsy. I'm just going to forewarn you if you're going to, if you're a popular Etsy shop, people are going to ask you some questions about the particular product. So respond promptly within 24 hours. Provide very clear and detailed information about whatever the person is asking from you. Next one, all right, you cannot, um, what do you call it? Like, I was trying to, oh, I just completely lost my train of thought. Oh, yes. Like, you can't sell oversaturated products. I mean, you can, but you're going to get a lot, a lot less sales. Try to offer the best products possible in terms of, like, if it's an under, you know, undersaturated product or if it's a unique product. Try to sell the most unique products you possibly can. Try to understand your niche demographic, your, you know, demographic that is, that is really, that you know more about than anyone else, okay? If you know more about anime, sell, try to sell items that are related to anime. If you know a lot about sports, try to sell, you know, products related to that key demo. So that, those are just some of the, um, mistakes that Etsy newbies just, you know, sometimes they just, they just make these, these ridiculous mistakes. And I'm trying to do everything I can on these videos to try to get you the most sales possible. I've talked so much about a lot of these things in past videos. So remember to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more. Thank you so much for watching everyone. And I'll see you in the next video.